Alrighty guys, so we are back with uh, Factorio C Block. So what we're going to do today is we are going to move our tree growing operation and uh, put it down here with our algae operation. Um, the reason we're going to do that twofold. One, it's keeping all the green stuff together. And two, uh, our operation down here requires compost, and we're out of compost. So we need more compost, and that is being made in all of this. So we're going to move it down there. Um, first thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to go over here, and we're going to grab our tech. So we're just going to continue to grab right on down the line. Um, all right, so that is the last of our red and greens. So now we need our dirty green stuff. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We should have enough science to get that started. Um, and it's not really a problem anyway, because down here, as you can see, we've got lots and lots of alien plant uh, samples. Um, we're just, we need to make more, um, which is why we need more compost. The other thing, if you noticed, is I went to the edges of my uh, radar map, and I cleared out all the biters all the way up to the edge of where my radar was, and we've started putting sand down. Um, I've put down more radars at the edge of that, so, you know, we're opening up more territory um, to the, uh, uh, yeah, to the, to the worms and what have you. So that's what we've got going. It took me a little while to do it. Uh, mostly it was clearing out all the worms, uh, but that has been done. Now it's just a matter of filling in the sand and that's, that's minor. So we're going to go ahead and start with this. We're going to tear this all down, um, and we're going to get going here. So I've already got blueprints made. Um, for this, so we're just going to rip it all out. We're leaving the crop production for now. we got to move that next, but these warehouses are all full, so it's going to take a little bit um, to move that. We're going to have to have some place to put that stuff first. The other thing we're going to have to do as part of this is we're going to have to put in a rail drop-off station for clay, uh, or for mud rather, I'm sorry, not clay, mud, so that we can start uh, making our compost and what have you. Um, so once we get this moved down here, that will be our next project is to put in our rail station. Um, it's relatively easy. We've already got the blueprints. Um, we've already got the mud being put on trains. So none of that is of major consequence. There we go. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and pull it all the way over. Not that it really matters, but we'll, we'll have to reroute this up anyway. So for right now, we'll just we'll just pull it right all the way to the close to the warehouse. As you can see, our copper and our iron have completely filled up um, because we've not been doing the research because we, you know, I've been picking that all on camera. So that'll start you know using that some of that up and we'll we'll go from there so let's go on down here now the other thing you'll see when i get down here is i put in a bunch of holding tanks um because we're making the blue algae i figured we'd go ahead and start making this multi-phase oil in bulk um, and start putting it away. Um, we're going to end up at some point making a huge chemical area, I guess, because 
there's so many liquids and so many fluids and stuff but right now we're going to do what we got to do here all right so first thing we're going to do now this one has brown algae production as part of um, this process but we don't need to do the brown algae production anymore because we can compost anything and we are making a ton of green algae down here in the bottom um, that we're going to snake up here and we're just going to use the green algae so we don't need that portion of this so let us do this let's go ahead and get rid of this right off the bat since we don't really need it um, we'll just kill that off of the blueprint yeah there we go all right <clears throat> so we're still going to run it in this direction uh, and we'll, we'll probably snake the the green algae up to the back side here um Let's go ahead and just throw her down. I guess right there is good enough. Well, we want to give ourselves enough room to bring a line in. There we go. That'll work. Um, there. Right? And that's going to give us our composters. And then we're going to go into each of our composters. with a line and that will bring our green algae in um, and then we're going to need the compost and we're going to need mud in order to um, make the stuff for the plants but here's the thing let's get rid of these let's get those out of the way um, we got to come out from the composters and go into these. But we also want some of that compost um, to be usable for, for ourselves. And we need the clay to come in. So if we do this, can we do it this way? No. All right. What we're going to do... I think is we're going to add space in here for another bell. So if we have inserter belt belt inserter, how's that? How about we do it that way? So then that would be inserters onto a belt. And then this would be the clay onto a belt. And then we could do two inserters here. One to grab the compost, one to grab the clay. I need some more inserters. Grab the belts. Um, that'll work for right now. right all right so and then that's going to be the remainder of the compost that's going to come out and go over here so the compost goes in here so we want this one to pick off of this line now what we could have done i guess is we could have done this with just one belt and we could have used one side of this belt for the clay and one side of it for the compost. Oh, man. Um, let 
All right. Huh. Maybe we want to do that. Maybe we want to do that. I think we want to do that. So, if we do... Like this, instead... Because then we can do... that so this is going to put in onto this side of the belt so basically what we need to do is we need to ensure that our dirt goes onto this side of the belt um or on this side of the belt and then the clay or the clay goes on this side of the belt and then the compost is going to go on this side of the belt this second one will pick it up theoretically and then we'll want to do something like this down here and have just the right side do compost right so then the compost will come out and the clay will stay i think that'll work so that's going to be our green algae coming up our, our mud will come down and then that will get turned into uh, our soil packets. And then our soil packets will come over here and go down through here. Right? So then we want to go here. And here. Like that. And then that was going to go there. And then those need it, the soil, and they need it water um, to go into there. And then those will come out. Well, yeah. So we just got to bring our water in, and then that'll come out. there and there like so and then that will go into our tree production we'll give it a little space to work around because we also have to bring seed packets in Right, and then that required agua, which means we need underground pipes. So we need underground pipes. Um, do we have any pumps? Pumps. We have one pump. Um, that. Do, do, do. What else did we need? Let's 
grab the rest of those poles, grab those, grab those in case we need them. We don't need that. Oops, we need that, that, that. Don't really need that one. Um, grab the chests in case. I think that's it for right this second. All right, so the green algae is going to come up here. Clay is going to come down here. Compost is going to come down here. That will make us our seed, our, our soil. And then the soil is going to come out and go on the belt. Soil will come over here. This requires soil and water. So, water will be there and there. We'll run our water in a minute. And then, of course, that'll be here. And up here. What is... Oh, it's already got one there. All right. Right, and there's our water. <clears throat> right, and then that will give us a tree seed, soil, and water. And these are going to make the tree seeds. So then soil also has to come in here. Um... So that's going to be soil, that's going to be tree seeds. Let's go down here, I think I have the blueprint for it down here with the belts. So let's look and see how we had this coming in, if we have it. Um thought we had one. All right, there's, there it is there. How were we? All right, so the, the soil was coming there and just going down through and then, ah, all right, so I had the belts on the outside. Two sets of belts on the outside. All right. So there was a set here that was coming in to feed that. What? 
All right, so that came in there, and it ended right at the beginning. Of, okay, I see what we we're doing. All right, so that ended. right there and that was our inputs okay so we had this inputting here and that's our tree seeds And then we had one coming out that fed it doesn't fit there but it'll fit there and then we want to set these ones for long drop which we'll put them on that tile right there we go so then we want to go oops And then these, we want them to go long drop there. And we need this belt to go all the way to there, right? So that'll bring in our seed packets. That'll bring out our trees, and this will bring in our soil. Right? Yeah, that'll bring in our soil. So we're going to need more inserters. Um, which I think we have some on our train. So we get them from the train. Um, let's see. Getting a little low on belts. We'll grab some belts as well. There we go. That should give us enough inserters. Okay, so that gives us our soil to these. That gives us that. We just need water to come in. And then that's going to put it to there. That's going to be that. All right, so now we need to route our green algae up here for compost. Now we could do brown algae or green algae and our brown algae is already consolidated. We could bring our brown algae up 
Maybe we bring brown algae up instead. Do we bring brown algae up instead? Why don't we bring brown algae up instead? I guess it really doesn't matter which um, we bring up. Green algae requires what? It requires carbon dioxide and mineralized water. And brown algae requires saline water. Saline water were taken out of the... All right, we're going to bring up the brown algae for now. And if we start getting short on the saline water, we'll change over to green algae. But I think we'll bring up the brown algae for now. So let's just pluck the brown algae off. Right there, right? Now we're not getting brown algae up here yet, why? Oh, that would help. So then our compost also needs to come to here. Right? Right. And then that just leaves us our water to come in. All right, there's that, and then we just need to bring it from there to there, which simple enough. Right, so that brings it from both sides, and then we just need to put in a pump. which we can put right there. All right, there we go. So 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so there is our water coming in. Um, that's everything except for the clay at this point. And this can come down here to there. So now we just need power. And power to go here. And of course power to our inserters. power someplace else we missed power right here everybody got power everybody's got power so that's going to be the compost coming down to there these have picked up their compost we just need clay to come into here all right so we've got everything set up to feed that stuff so that's going to restart our science product, our, our, our plant production, uh, extract production down here. Like I say, we're doing pretty good with this alien plant life sample. But now we've got her going good. Okay. Um, the other thing we're going to need is we're going to need these tree seeds. And the tree seeds... Uh, are made... Oh, wait, no. Tree seeds are made in the tree seed generator. That's going to go there. That's taking care of everything that we need, right? Yeah, because that's going to be the soil. Oh, I know what that was. I know what this was. That was the sample for... Um, that was this. this that was this uh, seedling nest. For making our science we're gonna have to make a seedling nest that's easy enough to make it's made in a liquefier with compost soil and water so that's why we were plucking that off over here somewhere we'll put that in um it's relatively minor to hook it up uh do we have a liquefier we don't have a liquefier let's see if we got one down here Ah, not there. Liquefier. Okay. So liquefier. If we stuff it in here. Right. And then we tell that to make these. The only thing it needs is an input for water. And, oops, wrong direction, that, right? So that will take out the compost and the soil. Well, no, soil needs to come over still too, doesn't it? Shiza. So maybe we don't put it there. Maybe we put it down here. Maybe we put it down here. So if we put it there, that will give us... access to our water, because we can put it underground there. 
and then that will give us access to our water. Um, and then we need to come out of there with some soil. And out of there with some compost. Right? And then if we do that. Right? And then all that needs is our compost and our soil. Compost. So now we just need to be making soil. So we just need to bring our clay in. And I think at that point, it looks like everything is copacetic right so now we just need to bring in our soil and what i said we were going to do for that earlier was that we are going to pull out this puppy right here Back it up even further. Just totally get it out of our way. In fact, let's totally get it out of our way. Let's go get our blueprint and put in our rail depth, our, our, our rail siding for that. We're going to have to snake it between all of these pipes, but that's doable. Let's see what we got here. Is it this one? It is this one. Yeah, it's this one right here. And then it is... No, those are the short ones. That's not the ones we want. It's sort of this one, but it's not this one because we want the drop-offs, not the pickups. But we can swap that out easy enough. All right. So let's see where we're going to stick this. We need to give ourselves enough room to fit between the pipes. And we need to give ourselves enough room for the depot. So... Do we want to be closer to down here? I think we want to be, yeah, somewhere 
somewhere in this area. I think we're somewhere close to being where we want to be right now. Um, if we see if we go there all right so we want to take out these get them out of our way and then that gives us our lighting for there but it is it is putting us right in the how about if we do here I was trying to to weave the poles but I guess we're not going to be able to weave the poles we're going to have to get rid of these two poles um now we should be able to put this in Yeah, because if we need to move if we need to move those undergrounds, we can move those undergrounds for this, but I don't think we're going to need to. I mean, we're going to have to put signals in in a couple of spots, but this will get us going. Um, we don't have our red and greens. We'll have to bring them down. Looks like we're... Are we out of... No, we're not out of rail signals. So there's that. Now for the second half of it. We put it right there. That ought to work. more tracks we need more what have you luckily we got a train right here with all of it on it so we need more tracks uh, and we're going to need those. We're probably going to need more of that. Um, we're going to need, well, we don't really need the rail signals, but we'll grab them. We'll grab the warehouses in case. Um, you know what we're gonna need that I don't think we brought because I think I might have not thought of them is the bulk or is the mini loaders I don't think we brought any mini loaders with us let's look real quick
nope we didn't bring any mini loaders what do we need for the mini loaders mini loaders need inserters we have um so we need basically we need stone right is it looks like that's all we really need is stone all right we can we can we can deal with that let's get the rest of it done and we'll get some mini loaders mana mana da, 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 da. mana mana da, 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 da. We'll let it put all this stuff down and then we're going to pick it all back up anyway um but this way it's all placed in the right places oh we forgot train signals i don't know if we had those on the train or not it's okay we'll deal Okay, so now we're going to want to replace those with these. I don't know if we really need all of them, but we're going to put them here. All of them that we have. All right. Right. And then we're going to call this one. Mud. Drop off. Or let's call it. Um, green mud drop off okay so that's going to bring the green uh mud down so let us gather up this stuff that doesn't need to be here So the train will come down here, drop here, so we need mini loaders. All right, let's go over here real quick and get what we need for the mini loaders so that we can get this working. How are we doing on time? We got a couple of few minutes left. So we had enough time to get this up and running. All right. Um, so... Mini loaders need stone, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so mini loaders. Let's make four, eight. Well, let's make all 16. Now. Do we have enough to make 
those? No, because we don't have iron plates. Um, what do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. Need enough iron plates for six of those. How many do they need each? Fifty apiece? A couple of stacks of iron plates. Um, five, six. fit pretty sure we can and then we should be able to bring it down there you know for as much as I use this balancer I ought to have it memorized just too many other things floating around in my brain um, that I just don't have it memorized. So shoot me. Actually, um, we're making what, 16 of those? We could do this. That's why I brought it down here. And then we could go one, two, three, four. Right, and then that could do those, and then that could come out here. And we need an underground. And then that's gonna go over. it's going to go over to there because we only want it on one side right yeah because that we only want that on the one side So then we want to come out of there and into there. And we want to reverse that. So that they're coming out and down to there. So we're out of poles. Right? Is that what we're out of? We're out of poles. And we're, uh, we need some more train signals just to make sure that's not fouled up.
see if we got poles. We got mediums, but I want to... There we go. All right. And then we want train signals. And then we're going to need saw blades. with the rails. Alright. that we're not going to worry about these mini loaders right now the ones that we need there and what have you um let us bring Right, so that should give us... Nope. It won't give us because we're not hooked up. Why are we not hooked? That's got power. Oh, because the holes aren't put down over here. Doy. There we go. Right? Right. All right. So then we need to connect between these, and that goes there, 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 and there. All right, and then we need to do, and we'll use mediums for this, just put one on either side. That should give us everything. No? Oh, because those aren't mediums. Dummy. Those aren't medium poles. All right. Can we make some medium poles? We don't have any copper. Let's see if we have mediums down here. Those are not mediums. They're large as... See if we have any mediums. Hope we have mediums. There's some mediums. There we go. That's better. All right, so now go up here to our mud train. And this is mud pickup. So we're going to add station, mud pickup, wait until full. And then we're going to go green mud drop off, wait until empty. And off it goes. Make sure we're not standing on the track. So there comes our mud in.
and our mud in will come down here and it should stack on this side of the belt while we're waiting for that to get down here let us um, put Stack in each of these to get them started. Right. That will get that started. We will put a chest down here for now. For that. Now our mud is coming in, making soil. Soil should come down here. All right, that's making our seed pack, our, 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 our seedling nests for our science. <coughs> This is taking, it's five soil per. Those will start to fill those up, which will start to fill these up. And then these need soil, which none of it's getting through yet because we're, we're gonna catch up. Now the soil's starting to get through. These guys will start to pick up the soil. They need five soil each. make a tree trees will come out and go down here and start making trees and then we can hook this back up to our tree input over there meanwhile down here we're back to making our samples all right guys there we go it is all hooked up it is all running um, the only thing that I have eliminated is the train station that takes me back here, but that's minor. We'll close this gap back up um, and close this gap back up, and that's that. So let's look at science real quick. Um, snag some more science. So that looks like snack inserters is going to be the one that we're going to be able to get. Um, any other red green ones that's already on our list that's already on our list that's already on our list um, so that looks like that is all of the red green at that point um, now we're oh well now three and four all right so add these because once those are researched then those will be on there so we'll grab those and then once that's done that looks like all of our red greens and then we're going to start doing all of the the dirty green science so we're going to start building dirty green science guys but we got it all back to working we got it all hooked up and there we go all right i will see you guys in the next episode bye